Guys, I just adjusted my clutch for the first time, man, and I'll tell you, the clutch was way out of adjustment. Now, what you have to do, in my case, since I have the Vance and Hines on here, you have to take the headers off. They actually come off pretty easy. You know, there's the two bolts, and then the two bolts in that cylinder head, and then there's these two here. What I did is I undid these first, I took those off, took those off, and it came right off. That's the only way you're going to be able to adjust your clutch. Because what you have to do is you have to take that access cover off. Now these are tight, so what I did is I hit it with a piece of wood. See that piece of wood down there, that piece of 2 by 4 I put it in a little groove there. They go counterclockwise, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and it came right off. I should have made a video about it, but you know, that's some screwed up. That's how I do things. So, what you want to do first, after you take your pipes off, after you get that access cover off, is you loosen your tight nut, your tightening nut. And then you, you bring that all the way down. This way there's total slack. Your clutch lever will be completely in. And then with a 732nd Allen wrench, and uh, I believe the nut is 5 8 You put your Allen wrench in there, you hold it, you hold the push rod, then you loosen your nut. And you have to, let me see, I think you, yeah, you, you unscrew your push rod and then you screw it back in so it's just touching. And then I think what I did was I, um, I might have tightened it a turn, I might have let it off a turn, I'm not sure. You know, now sounds got me wondering, I might have to do this again. I think you have to tighten it a quarter. After the push rod just touching, you bring it in a quarter of a turn. You know, a quarter of a turn is like a half, a half inch. You move with the Allen key. And then when you're holding the Allen key, or you're holding your push rod, you tighten the nut. And then you take the slack out of your um, out of your clutch line. And what I do is I put a washer, like I'll put a washer, like right in there. And it's actually it's actually pretty good. Now I'll tell you one thing I did do, which I'm going to redo. The engine oil, I put the same oil in my primary, and I'm going to change that. Because I think it's gonna, I think the clutch is going to work a little bit better with primary oil. So I sent away for um, primary oil, and we're gonna drain that. Matter of fact, I'll probably drain that tomorrow because the, the oil should be in on the twenty fifth. So that'll drain completely, and then we'll put primary oil in there. Now the issue I'm having now. Now, it could be because I haven't run this long. I just started it to, to test my clutch, and I stalled it. Then I had to, I had to let some slack out of my clutch, and then it didn't want to start because my battery is dead. Now, that could be because, you know, I haven't ran the motorcycle very long for probably about a month, so it could be all it is. If it's not that, I'm going to, going to replace the battery. I'll get a, like a lithium-ion battery in there. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, the, that's the only way, guys. You got to take your pipes off, unless if you have drag pipes that come down. But if you have these, you have to take you have to take your pipes off to get to that. There's no two ways about it. And then what happened to me too is I lost an exhaust flange bolt. So I had a guy, I went out, I bought another one. Then what do you think happens after I start the motorcycle? The bolt falls on the floor. I found the damn bolt. 
So I have an extra bolt now. But uh, I think I think the clutch was way out of adjustment on this. I don't know if it was ever adjusted. Probably was never adjusted. Because when, when I got this motorcycle, it only had 1,500 miles on it. So I, I don't think the clutch was ever touched. It, it was, there was a lot of stuff on here that was never touched. Matter of fact, this has this has uh, 1,900 miles on. I think 1,978 miles. That's all it's on it. The tires are actually original tires. So okay, and as for the Honda over there, I have to take the carburetor off. I'm having carb issues. I'm going to take the carb off one more time, and we're going to see what's going on with the carburetor. It's that's definitely a carburetor issue with the Honda. I guarantee it is. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later. The oil should be in. The primary oil should be in. I'm getting red line primary oil with shock. I think it's called um, with shock guard. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm getting. It's red line primary oil for big twins with shock guard in it. I'm getting two quarts of that. And I think I told you guys about the brown leather tool bag. It's coming from, um, I think it's La Cerna, California. Since the, since the since that bag's brown, I'm gonna match it with uh, a brown bag on the big dog here. See, because what we got here, we got the the bag on on the Honda. This is where I keep my registration and my insurance card. You guys, see, I changed this. I put that on. I didn't like all them studs on there, man. But you know what? It looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? it looks pretty good with the flat black. And these mirrors and the uh, Maltese cross seat looks pretty decent. All right, guys, I gotta go.